Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. So today I am going to try a bottle pour. So what that is, is where you take the bottom of the bottle, this is from a two liter, and you pour your paints over top and it makes a cool design. So I'm actually going to do a double bottle pour. So I have a two liter bottle and then I have a smaller bottle with a similar pattern. So I'm hoping to get kind of a flower effect. Now, in addition to that, um, I wanted to try my Liquitex products again. And this time I'm going to try them with some Palmer paints, which come in little pots like this. So I'm sorry, I don't have the original packaging, but um, I will show you these, the colors that I'm going to use up close when I get down to my canvas. So I've only done a one other bottle pour. I don't believe that I have a video out there for it, but the beauty of a bottle pour is it comes with great variations in your paint and it ends up being a painting that you could turn almost any direction. But my goal today is I'm going to try to get one to look a little bit like a flower. So let's see how that works, okay? So stay with me. All right, so today I have chosen a 12 by 12 canvas. I wanted a square one. This probably would work better with a round one. However, I have run out of all those. So I've, I've chosen a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm using Palmer paints, which come in little pots like this um, with my Liquitex products. Now I have tried this pouring medium before with craft paints and it did not work so well. So I'm trying it again today. Um, I, I want, I'm, tr I'm in search of an inexpensive paint that it will work with because when, it, when this dries, it has a nice sheen to it and I don't have to resin those projects. So I'm still looking, but um, haven't found it yet. So I'm gonna pour over two bottles and I'm actually going to, uh, I've mixed up my Liquitex similar to my flow mix recipe that you see at the end of all of my videos. So we're going to work with that and see how all of this works today. So also going to put my 12 by 12 canvas on top of a turntable. It will just make the paint flow out easier from my, um, my uh, bottle pour. It's a difficult kind of pour to tilt and get it right. So we're going to see how that works. And I, of course, have prepared my canvas with tape and push pins putting the pins on the short on the long sides here because then it fits on my turntable so i've sprayed the back of this with water and the front because i have some dimples and that should tighten up my canvas and i'm also checking to be sure that it's straight because sometimes it's your table that's crooked Sometimes it's your turntable that's crooked and sometimes it's just the wood on your canvas that makes things crooked when you put your pins on. So you wanna make sure before you start that you check your canvas. All right, let me mix up my paints with my flow mix and I'll be with you in just a minute. I like to put a little bit of flow mix in the bottom of my cup. Since I'm using some paper cups here, the paint sticks to the, um, the actual paper and doesn't mix in right away. There's some pigment loss, I think. Not much, but just soothes my mind that I am able to get that in there without a lot of loss of Okay, so I have mixed up all of my colors with a uh, Liquitex Flow Mix. I did need to add just a few drops of water to some of them. They mixed up a little thicker than the others. And I did add a variation in the, uh, let's see, the, the rose pink color. I added some red ink 
um, hoping it doesn't make it too liquidy. And then in the teal color, I added a variation of some green ink. Now these are rainbow or posh brand rainbow inks. And I use these for a lot of projects. So I did add those to my colors. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you try this at home, you do not have to buy the Liquitex products. You can try this with any craft paint you want, as well as with a glue and a water mixture. So that recipe for the glue and water mixture is below in my YouTube video details. So please look at that. And so I'm not going to put a base on here. There's plenty of paint that's going to cover it, and I think it's going to flow. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying this. I'm just making it up as I go along. So we'll see how everything turns out. All right. Let's see. We're on there. A little bit of a stinky on there. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this, but let's try it. So first I want to kind of make an outside edge. Here's my plan. I'm going to pour white and a little bit of silver to do to flow out and maybe fall off. That's okay. Then I'm going to pour a little bit of green out of just a couple of these holes, hopefully, and then a little bit of teal, maybe some silver to add to make leaves. And then I'm going to start with whatever might make up a flower. Partway through, I'm going to switch to my smaller one to make inside petals. And we'll see how that works. So, all right, let's go with the white. 